The IOTA has proven time and time again that they believe in hydrogen as a fuel source. You see, the IOTA firmly believes it is too early to focus on a single zero emission solution. And it is. Therefore, they are developing hydrogen fuel cell technology and hydrogen combustion technology alongside battery electric technology. Today, we will focus on the development of a hydrogen fuel cell powered Hilux pickup truck. The emissionless prototype is a result of a demand from Toyota customers for a greener product. This endeavor aims to adapt Toyota's second generation hydrogen fuel cell technology for a task of powering the Toyota Hilux. Now, the Hilux is known for being a super durable workhorse of a vehicle, so Toyota will have their hands full building this truck. Yes, people want a greener truck, but they also won't want to compromise on the reliability and durability of the vehicle. Luckily, me and many others believe in Toyota, and we have high hopes in their ability to build hydrogen-powered vehicles of the future. Toyota Motor Manufacturing UK has received funding from the UK government through the Advanced Propulsion Center, which assists with the development of zero-emission vehicles. Now, the CNBC claims that Toyota has secured millions in funding to produce a hydrogen fuel cell pickup truck. Toyota will attempt to create this hydrogen fuel cell pickup in its England plant. Now, why are they focusing on building a fuel cell EV and not just a fully electric like many other manufacturers out there? Well, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles make electricity by fusing oxygen and hydrogen atoms, which only leaves water vapor, so no bad byproducts. This also means that fuel cells don't rely on lithium ion batteries to produce electricity like battery electric vehicles. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles rely on hydrogen to generate the electricity that drives the power to the wheels of the vehicle. Why is this important? Well, as I'm sure many of you know, batteries of today are built using rare resources like nickel, lithium, and cobalt which are becoming increasingly difficult to source. And scientists have stated over and over that there just isn't enough of these resources to supply a world full of EVs. Another pro that the hydrogen will have over a normal electric truck is that when you use a truck for work, every minute counts. So if it's an electric and it needs 20 minutes to charge, you are effectively losing money. Whereas with a fuel cell, it can be filled up in three to four minutes. Now, as I stated previously in this video, this truck will run off Toyota's second generation fuel cell technology. Now, this technology was last used in the 2022 Toyota Mirai. Now, in the Mirai, this cutting edge hydrogen fuel cell technology makes it possible for the car to have a driving range of 646 kilometers and a max power output of 135 kilowatt and 406 newton meters of torque. The Mirai possesses a class leading performance and utility by way of its three hydrogen tanks. And that power output is very similar to the 150 kilowatt and 420 newton meters you will find in the 2.8 liter turbo diesel version of the Hilux that many love today. And I think that the auto will probably use some stronger electric motors in the truck, even if it does lower the range a little bit. Now, hydrogen fuel cells are still heavy, like their fully electric counterparts. So it won't be stupid fast, like some of the EV trucks out there, but it is still powered by electric motors, so all 400 plus newton meters will be available from a dead standstill. A second negative with this is the supporting infrastructure, such as fueling stations, but we do know that most countries and even some companies are currently busy building and enlarging the current infrastructure. Now, I will have to add, I do think that the fuel cell version will be quite a bit more expensive than the standard diesel powered truck, but as with all technology, as it advances, the prices should come down, where I think that EVs will probably become more expensive as the resources dry up. But let me know what you think of this truck and the possible path that Toyota wants to pursue with the hydrogen fuel cell technology. And do you think they should just stick to electric? Do you think the hydrogen internal combustion engine, which they are also busy developing, I've made a ton of videos on it, so if you want to see them, um, just go through my channel, you'll find them. So they are pursuing combustion powered hydrogen engines and the fuel cell and they are also currently working on electric vehicles. Now me personally, I really like the internal combustion engine. So that's where all my hope lies. But even the fuel cell, I think is better than fully electrics because batteries don't last forever. And having to buy a new battery every X amount of years with the resources drying up just sounds like a dumb idea in my opinion. 
But let me know what you think. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you did like it, you'll like many of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?